What is going on, Eye Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're gonna talk about a new study that looks into the mechanism of why intermittent fasting can actually increase your lifespan. It's a new study coming out of Harvard University by Zayun Wu and colleagues, and we're gonna talk about some points and break it down in this video. Stay tuned. Quickly before we start, this video is sponsored by Flex Pro Meals, the easiest way to manage your calories and macros without all of the hassle. They deliver the food right to your doorstep. All you have to do is quickly heat it up and you'll be all set. They're gourmet meals made by gourmet chefs, so you can't go wrong with Flex Pro Meals. If measuring your calories and counting your macros is too much of a hassle, this service will eliminate that hassle for you. And don't forget, if you put the promo code FLEDGE20, you get 20% off your entire first order. Now let's get into the video. This is talking about the cellular functions that happen when you incorporate a dietary restriction, when you refrain from eating. Now, I do not want this to come off very complicated, but it is a immune metabolic and cellular breakdown, so it has the potential to become confusing so i'm going to do my best to make sure you guys understand every point that i reference also there was a chart that is very very helpful to see how your body responds biologically to those different situations now i do want to let you know that it is well established that the lifespan extension is due to a variety of cellular and protective tissue mechanisms. What those specific mechanisms are is where it gets very intricate and understanding why a dietary restriction or a fasting protocol can assist in that, we have to dive deep into the study. And they have witnessed this through yeast and even mammals that lifespan expectancy can increase through the inhibition of things like mTORC1, which is a driver of growth and integrates amino acids and growth factors. Just so that you're not confused and so that you have this as a reference, mTORC1 is a protein complex that functions as a sensor for nutrients, energy, and it can control protein synthesis. So just understand that concept when it comes to mTORC1 so that you, you have that reference point uh, for this study. Although you want to have nutrients, it's healthy to take in nutrients, malnutrition also helps in terms of extending lifespan. So you want to have balances of not having nutrition come in and then having nutrition come in. And how do we know that based on this study is because nutrients activate something called the P38 ATF7. So mTORC is activated and the P38 ATF7 is activated, both of which are activated when nutrients and amino acids are consumed. So if you're constantly eating and there's no restriction when eating, you're constantly activating these two functions. However, when you're doing the dietary restriction and not eating, you're reducing the functions of the P38 ATF7. And why is it important to reduce this? Because it has been shown that the P38 ATF7 or its components inhibits or induces neuronal degeneration, which suggests that some ATF7 regulated functions can actually assist you in defending pathogens, but not extending lifespan. That's why you want the balance. You wanna be able to restrict from eating to gain those compounding effects of expanding your lifespan at a cellular level. And then you wanna go ahead and eat, of course, for the amino acids to build muscle for protein synthesis and defending against pathogens, which indicates that intermittent fasting versus eating all the time or even prolonged fasting may be the best middle ground for you to tap into the extended lifespan as well as getting in the nutrients for the day. So your metabolic health is very important and this study is showing that lifespan is extended through the metabolic regulation. So that you can see it clearly, you can look at this chart. In this chart, you'll see that this blue line represents the extended lifespan. And the only time that the extended lifespan is actually increased significantly is during the dietary restriction. You can see ad libitum, which means that you can eat whenever, however you want. You can see increasing your dietary intake which is eating consistently and eating a lot of calories you can see that this reduces your lifespan and you could also see that the ATF7 also keeps you at a lower lifespan significantly lower than that of dietary restriction there was a study done by Harvard University a few years ago that looked at the nematode worms and saw that they were able to extend their lifespan 
when they induced a fasting protocol. This study looked into those studies, looked into studies with mice, and even looked into studies with humans, combined that information as reference, and then looked at the biological responses at a cellular level, and were able to come up with these conclusions. So this is a very important study in terms of understanding how dietary restriction or how fasting or refraining from eating can increase your lifespan. What is exactly happening at a molecular level? I will have a link to the study below if you wanna go ahead and take a look at it for yourself. And of course, I wanna thank my patrons from my Patreon, and I'm gonna put their names right up here.